beautiful neighborhood. Years ago, this was the top. To, to live in Crown Heights was something special, you know. That's me and my husband in the middle. His brothers. He's the one with the cigarette in his hand, but he stopped smoking. <laughs> this is our rabbi, Nachmendel Schneersons. Most of the people here are all from one section of Russia, Lubavitch. And we all came here because of our rabbi. And that's why we're here all the time. We're here over 60 years. I was born in Leningrad. Today, they call it Petersburg. When I was six years old, I left. There was a war, you know. From there, we went to France. And it was a very hard life, you know. Especially for my mother to have four kids. We came here in 1954, because it's one of the nicest countries in the world. Yes, sir. Are you Hi. good? I'm good. How are you? Fine, thank God. You know how, how many years I'm here? You are probably in 1961. So, over 50 years. My dream was to have a business for myself. But it's been very hard. You know, my wife, with our children, when they were small, she was in the other room. I used to make the fish, she used to make the bills. And many times we were here till 12 o'clock at night. There was a lot of days I, I didn't have time to sleep. What kind of fish is this? This is a mackerel. That's true. This species sheds the scales and it comes out of the water. It's actually a kosher fish. Most fish in the sea are kosher by default, as long as they have fins and scales. That excludes mammals, shellfish. If you want to look here at a, at a red snapper, for example, so we got our fins and we got our scales. You got married on Friday? Yeah. Mazel Yeah, Mazel Tov. Finally. What do you mean, finally? He was the matchmaker. He says, listen, Papa, why don't you take this bum you're going with and make him an honest guy? Baruch Hashem, thanks to them. I walked down the aisle. Who was the rabbi? Rabbi Rappaport from Mill Basin. He studied under Maya Feinstein. Is that Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay, after the first child, you make him the godfather, at least. First child? I mean... The first child? Abraham, he had a son when he was 100. You're right. You're right. You'll see different types of fish. Traditional Jewish type fish, like a white fish and carp. You'll have customers that go for salmon heads. They use it for soups and for fish stock. We have porgies and whitings. Kingfish is another. I'm making a chicken herring. Now, I'm Swedish, you see, so I was very excited to see them here. So this here is already marinated, skinless and boneless. You want to taste it? Is it too early in the day? Yeah. We gave it to the other Swedish woman and she went, wow. Okay, now I'm gone, I'll have to Enjoy. Now this is straight in the brine. I threw a seventh one in, on the house. We have a very diverse customer base, actually. West Indian people, and of course Jews, and others in the neighborhood. Gracias, madame. Their parents shopped here, their grandparents shopped here, and uh, so it's sort of a landmark in the neighborhood. Thank you. Amen, 
Mr. Raskin. I'm coming, I'm coming. How much are you? Long time to see you, how you doing? I'm doing good. That's wonderful. <laughs> of the older generation that still come in, some young hipsters also come and ask for whole fish such as this and they grind it. We will grind it for them and they'll make their own gefilte fish. This fish was cooked yesterday by my wife. That, that's for you now. You should have some gefilte fish yeah. and everything will be okay.